so. My mom was a teenager. She mm -hmm. grew up on Balboa Island. She grew up and went on the ferry across the bay, uh, across the harbor to the elementary school right there on, on, the, on the peninsula. Newport Elementary. Newport Elementary. My father was in the Army Air Corps, so the, he was based out of the Santa Ana Air Base. Um, so there was no Air Force at that time. And so he, he was in, on leave, you know, weekend leave, and the residents of Babo Island at that time were opening up their homes to the military and he, someplace other, uh, someplace on the island, they, um, my father and his buddy were staying, and they got on, and my mother and her girlfriend got onto the ferry, and my dad and his friend got onto the ferry, and they went and sat next to the girls, and I guess they talked a little bit on the, on the ferry, and, and my, my dad said, so what, how, where's the USO dance? And my mom speaks up and gives them the directions. And they get docked and they go get off and the two girls start walking and, and the, the guys are right behind him and my mom turns around and says, are you guys following us? And my dad comes up and grabs her arm and says, no, we're right with you. <laughs> They went to the rendezvous ballroom, and at that time, you know, a lot of the a lot of the people there wasn't a lot of money going around, and uh, the people that would go into the ballroom would come out and drop their tickets on the ground, and my mom showed my dad, oh look, we got tickets here, <laughs> let's just go in. My mother was very demure. She was uh, went to finishing school in Hollywood and. Uh, I think one of her, one of her classmates was a, a Jane Mansfield, I think. Yeah, so she, she was like, you know, she had all of the training and stuff, and so when he made advances, she said no. <laughs> and I think that was one of the things that he liked about her. Oh, the capture is up to the kill, absolutely. Yeah. My grandfather had a, a beautiful sailboat called the Alondra, and um, they took pictures of her. They took, took pictures of all of the starlets. So they had Virginia Gray, and they had, they had the professional photographer come and take the photos, and then they did little postcards that they sold for 10 cents. That with those pictures on them to uh, promote. There was wool bathing suits and um, they were promoting the movies that they were in. He would buy a lot, build it, sell that one, buy another lot, build, and sell another one, until they finally found, ended up on 140 Bayfront. And um, that's where my mother grew up. Two on Collins that I know of, and another one across the street on Turquoise. That are still? That are still standing. Still standing, the original homes? Yes. Yeah. Wow. In fact, um, the two, the one on turquoise and the one on uh, the on the the triangle lot have uh, um, historical plaques on them. And the one on um, so did you, are you ever live in any of these? Oh, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's been kind of like a dream to live on the one in, in the. It, the whole family is so proud of that piece. It just seems like um, 
and a very special uh, piece of property. It's a unique piece of property that my, you know, I feel a personal pride about. It's like a, a, a like a Disneyland cottage. I've been inside it, and it's really adorable. Just all this built-in woodwork things, and and some kind of script, uh, scripts, you know, stuff carved into it, and things like that. So it's a, it's an amazing little piece of history. So that's part of it.